Hello and welcome back to the In Real Life channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the contents of my toddler's changing bag. Man, that's so heavy. Um, we've recently swapped from a changing bag that was like on my shoulder to a rucksack bag because I was finding it really difficult to like push the push chair, have a changing bag on my shoulder and hold on to my toddler's hand as he refused to sit inside the push chair. So I have swapped to a pink lining wonder bag. It's so lovely. It's got like little zebras all across it and i just really love it because of how many pockets it's got it's got the front pocket here a second pocket and it's got the main pockets but within the main pockets it's got other pockets so it's got like a little side pocket here and a side pocket at the back there and then it's got pockets on the sides here i love it the first thing I tend to put in the very front pocket is nappies because it's just so accessible if I need to do a change. So I have Johnson's Extra Sensitive Wipes. We've used these pretty much since he was born and I've never tried another brand. They're just really great and I love them now. They've got like the little tab that you can press back down on them. I was finding before that they'd dry up but they don't anymore so I like those. Also have nappies. These are just generic nappies. Jack usually wears um, pull-up pants, but we were running really low and I had to get these from the petrol station, so nappies. And that is the front pocket done. Oh, no it isn't, a lie. Money. This is Jack's ice cream money. I always have it accessible. I'm on to the second pocket now. I keep my purse in here. I tend to keep all my little bits in the second pocket. I've also got like train tickets, soft play pass, all the fun stuff in life, uh, my hairbrush, my tangle teaser, some headphones, never get to use them, my child does a nap, some pens, I tend to keep pens with me, you just never know when you're going to need them, a dummy, Jack still has his dummy at night when he sleeps, he's dropped his daytime nap, but the one time I don't take this out with me will be the one time he sleeps so it comes everywhere with me and that is that pocket empty so we're going to do the main pocket next it tends to be completely unorganized um just dive in and see what's in there so we've got a plate you know just in case we go out anywhere like the park and he's hungry and we have a picnic then we've got cheese and herb puffs from organics again you need snacks with a toddler. You think you're going to carry less, and you do because you don't have bottles, but snacks replace it. We've got an Ellis kitchen pouch, which Jack loves, and it's a way of getting some sort of fruit into him. Oh, and then we have the red book, um, personal child's health record. I keep this with me at all times. Just in case, like it's the sort of thing that you take to your health fist when you got in wave. I just leave it in there. I don't lose it then, and I just know where it is. I've got a swim nappy just because I, if I decide to go swimming at short notice, I've then got a nappy. I win a bit of a quaver. Lovely. Then got a period pad, some Peppa Pig briefs because we have been trying to potty train Jack in like little sessions and little bursts so I just had that with me just in case my dad's and I do a little session there a pair of socks for soft play and then we're on to helicopters and other little gadgets that we take everywhere so helicopter fire engine an ambulance another car I find that if he has something to hold he's much happier being in the push chair so we just go with that We've got another helicopter. You may notice that these two are the same. The Harold from Thomas the Tank Engine. And he always has a larger one, but they're his favourite. So we just have a few of them that he can hold on to. I then have a change of clothes. I've got a t-shirt and some leggings. Another helicopter. I can't stand this one because it's one of those where Jack constantly wants me to adjust the propellers. I may be hiding that soon. <laughs> I've got a little cap for the summer because it's so hot at the minute and then i have got this little pouch here full of medicines and stuff i just have on me all the time so 
it's really hot in the uk at the minute so i have sun lotion in the bag at all times this is the nivea sun kids moisturizing sun spray in factor 50. i much prefer the spray to the lotions i just think it's so much easier to apply i'm really late to find that out but i found that out now then i have like the world's biggest bottle of calpol i don't know why but then i had this size when i last needed calpol so this is just a calpol bottle a uh, syringe for the cowpole, pseudocreme care and protect, some ibuprofen for children, some more sun cream. This is my old one, it's the Sultan Once Kids Out Ever Play. Some after sun child's foam, little, I think I got this a sample along with this sample sun cream in I think Gurgle magazine or one of the child's magazines and then have the spoon as well because sometimes he doesn't take it well off the syringe so I've got the spoon as an alternative and that's empty and then I have a fork a spoon and then three of the um, Annabelle Carmel's fruity bakes they're the I think there's like red and green bars that we have those ones we have and in the side pocket we have his drink this is just like a munchkin's cup it's like the non-leak type so it just doesn't leak anywhere i usually put in um a change map that's anything that isn't in this bag at the minute the bag is completely i'm just checking oh some hair grips i think it's now completely empty no more socks yeah no it's empty um i usually have like a little foldable changing bag that, um changing mat sorry that i can put in the bag that is the only other thing that i take in there so yeah that's what's in my changing bag um jackie's two years four months old that is everything that he uses pretty much on a daily basis obviously if we're going a bit further afield out for the day i would take more items i probably take a packed lunch um i might add in like a football that sort of thing but generically that's what we have in the bag um thank you for watching please hit like on this video and please subscribe to the in real life channel and i'll see you all soon bye